so today's video is going to be my Sephora haul. This was everything I got during the Sephora VIB sale, and I'm sorry I'm so late posting this video. One of my packages took a little bit longer to get here, and so I was waiting for everything to come in the mail. I placed several orders on the Sephora website, okay? I was like, I'm only gonna get what I need, which I don't need any of this. <laughs> but I was like, I'm just gonna get what I need and that's it. And then I kept seeing video recommendations and things just kept calling my name and so I, I placed uh, a few orders. But I didn't get that many things. I just spent so much damn money at Sephora because I finally bought this. Guys, guys. This is what I was waiting to buy for so long. I purchased my original air wrap years ago and I love it so much. To me, it's an investment, but it's really, really worth the money. Dyson products just give you really, really minimal damage. And with someone with terribly damaged dry hair, I just really love the Dyson technology, but damn, it, it's like a car payment. This costs more than health insurance. Like, why is this so expensive? <laughs> I bit the bullet and I bought it and I was waiting for the Sephora sale to buy it because I saved over $120 on this. Still paid an arm and a leg though, but still, you know. So I have been wanting the new Dyson Airwrap because I have the original one where you have to change out the barrels and the new ones, you just like click a little button and it, and it changes directions. Should've done that from the beginning, Dyson. But I'm very, very excited. I haven't even opened this yet. I have been wanting this one for a while because this is the one for curly hair and I've been really, really wanting this one because your girl has curly hair. And even though I mainly use this for this product right here, like I'm rarely using any of the other things, I really, really want this one and this one. I really wanted the diffuser, even though I had one already that I got on Amazon that's really amazing. I just wanted a little bit of a Dyson upgrade and <sighs> I splurged and I treated myself. I did, I did. And it's so beautiful. I really love this whole gunmetal gold combo. Really nice. This brush is even bigger than the one my old Dyson had. Wow, okay, I'm excited. This is the little thing to clean the filter. You know that when I bought my Dyson, the original, I completely threw this away the first time I bought the air wrap. I was like, ah, I'm not gonna need this. I threw it away. Yeah, you do need this. You, you clean your, your filter with this. I'm a mess. I will say I used mine like every single time I washed my hair and it was still going strong. And mind you, I didn't have the correct thing to clean the filter. So I was cleaning it with an old toothbrush. It's still going strong years later. I gave mine to my mom and she's still using it and loving it. But like how convenient, dude, just one barrel? That is amazing. You just... Genius. I didn't really use this much either. Oh, and this one moves? Wow, they really upgraded this. So excited for this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like it's Christmas. Honestly, guys, this was my main concern for the Sephora sale. I was like, even if it's just that, even if I get just that, because it's so damn pricey, I'll be happy. And I was nervous for a second there because it was out of stock, but then it finally came back in and yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing is that this doesn't fit in this box, but still, I am so... Excited. The air wrap is 100% worth the money in my opinion. I purchased the straightener, the Dyson like air straightener, not worth the money in my opinion. Just get a GHD straightener, but the air wrap, amazing. Okay, let's talk about the rest of the products I bought. This has been on my wish list for a really long time. I have heard amazing things about the leave-in conditioner from Crown Affair, and honestly, I'm a sucker for packaging. I really, really love this packaging. Look how cute it is. I got the mini just in case. I wanted to get a little guy before I committed to the full size because this is a pricey hair care brand, but I swear people rave about this leave-in conditioner. I haven't heard anybody say anything negative about it. Two of my personal friends in my life have both bought this, and they're like, Kathleen, you need it. It's so good. It makes my hair so soft. So I got it during the sale and I am so excited to try it. I picked up the new Fenty Beauty Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter because my friend Sniff with Steph was raving about this in a recent TikTok and her skin looked beautiful. I knew I had to get it. I picked up the shade that she got because it just looked stunning on her skin. I got pretty pearls and guys, this is probably the best highlighter formula I have ever tried when it comes to a powder highlight and I know that's a bold statement. I know that's a bold statement, but oh my gosh, look at my cheeks. Look at my freaking cheeks. Guys, this looks like your skin. Like your natural, wet, glowy skin. I know I recently hauled an Iconic London highlighter. I recently bought a powder highlighter from them um, in another recent Sephora haul before the sale. And I really like that one, but comparing that one to this one, this formula is unreal, next level. I love it 
so so much it is so finely milled it has the lightest softest pearl finish that i swear just makes you look like you are glowing it doesn't look metallic on the cheeks it honestly makes you look lit from within but still in a bold way it's not too subtle like it's intense but really really natural i don't know i love it so much this one in pretty pearls is absolutely everything i am so happy i bought it i don't really highlight the skin that much anymore but after buying this, I might become a highlighting mamacita again. Okay, let's talk about the blush I'm wearing. I actually bought two blushes, but I haven't gotten the Patrick Ta one in the mail yet. I wanted to get one of the new Patrick Ta duo blushes, but it's not here yet. But I also picked up the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks. And this is so random for me because I don't really buy Bobbi Brown makeup, but this was a recommendation from you guys. One of you guys left this comment on my TikTok and I had to run and get it immediately. And I picked up the shade Powder Pink. It's the color I'm wearing on my cheeks, like I said. And it is the prettiest natural everyday pink. I actually really, really like this. I love this formula. It is very glowy and pigmented, but it blends really nicely. It's not too sheer where you feel like it's just gonna slip off your face. It has a lot of like creaminess to it that I really, really like. And I loved how easy it was to blend. This is a super nice formula. Thank you so much for recommending it to me because I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this shade. This Sephora haul is basically a TikTok made me buy it haul because I saw a video go viral on TikTok and it made me wanna buy this immediately. And it's funny because the video was about the hourglass concealer that I know a lot of people like. I even like it. I'll put it up if I can find it, but it was like a close-up of this girl's eye and her concealer looked really crusty and, and weird under the eye. And she was like, guys, I don't know how to fix this. Please help me. And the top comment in the comment section was, you need the Natasha Denona serum concealer. That's the best concealer I've ever used. And it had so many likes and a lot of comments responding to the girl like, yes, this is my favorite concealer. I use it all the time. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go buy it. So... That's what I picked up. This is the Natasha Denona High Glam Brightening and Hydrating Crease Proof Serum Concealer. And I got mine in the shade N1. I'm wearing it today. I really, really like this concealer so far. It blends so nicely. It's kind of thick and hydrating, but it's not cakey at all. I definitely see how it is more of like a serum kind of concealer. I honestly really love the way that it made my under eyes look. And even this area around my nose, the concealer looks really, really nice. Of course, nothing is crease proof when you have creases. You know, but I really like this formula and I'm very curious to see how it compares to my Fenty Beauty concealer that I'm really loving right now because I really, really liked this. I'm so happy I bought it. I'm also really happy that I bought this. So I have 500 mascaras sitting in my drawer right there. So I didn't need this at all, but I'm running low on my Thrive Cosmetics tubing mascara. So I thought I would give this one a shot. I've tried the Tartlet tubing mascara from Tarte a bunch of times and I really, really like it, but they came out with this like extra large one. So I wanted to just go ahead and pick it up. It's the mascara I'm wearing on my eyes right now and it is really, really good. I love tubing mascaras. They're just so easy to take off. They truly are the best. And this one makes your lashes really thick, really black, long, bold, voluminous. And honestly, if you're not careful with this one, you can get clumpy lashes, but I really feel like just one coat is all you need because it's so good. So yeah, I got the Tartlet Tubing Mascara from Tarte. Where have these glosses been my whole life? I had to pick two of them up after I saw so many people raving about them and recommending them in like Sephora TikTok videos. So many people were saying these were the best glosses at Sephora. They just give you plump looking lips. They fill in the lines and they give you that juicy mamacita lip that you guys know I'm really loving these days. So I picked up this one which I feel like is the, the most famous one. This is the one I keep hearing everybody rave about. This is Cherry Vanilla, which is their red. And it is such a pretty, juicy, sheer red. Like, truly so stunning. I love the way that these smell. Guys, they smell like old school lip smackers. They smell very nostalgic to me. Wow, I love it. I love it. So nostalgic. Oh my God. I feel like I, have I tried this in the past or am I crazy? Maybe I tried a clear one, but I got Cherry Vanilla and I also got the shade Nudie, which I was kind of hesitant to pick this one up because light nude colors like this can sometimes look a little crazy on the lips, but wow, this is beautiful. This is the one I'm wearing on my lips right now. And it is the most beautiful sheer pinky nude with very, very slight soft shimmer in it. It doesn't show up too shimmery on the lips at all, but it just has a little bit of something to it. And this feels incredible on the lips, guys. Everybody is right. It fills in your lip lines so well. It kind of gives you a little bit of a plumping sensation, but it doesn't hurt or tingle whatsoever. It's like a very mild minty feeling. And I feel like it just helps make your lips look so juicy and I love the colors. I love the sheerness. I just really, I'm really, really impressed with these. I, I gotta say, oh my God, have I mentioned what these are? <laughs> These are the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Glosses. And I got 
cherry vanilla, and nudie, and you need them. I bought two brushes during the sale. This is the Makeup by Mario brush that everybody raves about. This is the F4 cosmetic brush, and typically double-ended brushes annoy me, but I can't lie, they're so convenient. Both of the brushes I got are double-ended, and if I hear one more rave about this brush, I'm gonna lose my mind. I had to pick it up for myself, see what all the fuss is about. So like I said, this is the Makeup by Mario F4, and I feel like it's perfect to travel with. You can do your entire face with this brush. I love the angle. I feel like this would be perfect for cream contour, cream blush, foundation, concealer. Like, I feel like this can do it all, so I'm really excited for this. And then I picked up the Patrick Ta Dual Ended Blush Brush. I got this because I saw this girl using this on Instagram. She was using the Patrick Ta Blush, which is what made me also want to get, want to buy the Patrick Ta Blush. Because she used this side in the powder blush, and then she used this side in the cream blush. And I was like, that looks really cool. So I, I wanted to buy it. <laughs> I feel like this could also work for cream and powder bronzer, not just cream and powder blush. I think it's great to layer cream and powder products, like a little cream bronzer, then a powder bronzer, a little cream blush, then a powder blush, you know. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna use this a lot, so we'll see. And then, last but not least, I picked up two of the new Forever Mood perfumes from Jackie Ina. I got Hard to Get, and you remind me, I should have picked up all four, but I was trying to be a little conservative since I literally spent so much money on a damn air wrap. But I should have I should have bought all four because I was really, really impressed with these. I posted a video on these scents over on my Kathleen Smells TikTok account. So if you want to see me review these, if you want to hear my thoughts on these, go check that out. But yeah, I have many thoughts and yeah. I'm gonna go buy the full size of Hard to Get immediately though. This full size bottle will be on my vanity till it's discontinued, till they never make it anymore. Because wow. But okay guys, that's it. That was everything I bought during the Sephora VIB sale. I'm gonna know why. Don't ask me to buy anything. Don't ask me to review anything because I cannot afford it. My credit card hurts. <laughs> Please leave me a comment down below letting me know what you picked up during the sale, if you did buy anything during the sale. Let me know, are you loving anything? Do I need to check anything out? Let me know. But no, don't, no, no, I'm gonna know why. <laughs> But anyway guys, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so excited to keep playing around with these. I feel like I got some good stuff. But yeah, like I said, that completes this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.